Welcome to the Financial Literacy Talks. Today we have John Sablehouse from the Federal Reserve Board talking about his new paper, Early Withdrawals from Retirement Account During the Great Recession. Welcome, John. Thank you, Anna. Glad to be here. So, John, why should policymakers be concerned about early withdrawals from retirement accounts? Over the past several decades, retirement programs in the U.S. have changed significantly. We're moving away from a traditional pension system where employers' benefits in retirement are based on their years of service uh, and their salary with the employer to one of self-directed retirement accounts where employees are responsible for managing how much goes in, portfolio decisions, and, uh, and ultimately decisions about how to take the money out, some of which can occur before retirement itself. And obviously money that flows out of the accounts prior to retirement isn't there when, when they actually go to retire. Is all early withdrawal behavior necessarily bad? Not necessarily. It, and the reason is you think about the reasons why people might be accessing their funds early. One of the things we looked at in this study, which are certain types of shocks that occur that affect households. If they have a significant drop in their income, for example, would be a reason that we might expect them uh, to access their funds early. And Congress understood this when they put the law in place. They, they, there are provisions under which you can access the funds. Generally, there's a 10% penalty when you access the funds before age 55 or 59 under certain circumstances. Uh, so uh, people are dissuaded from doing so. But we worry that, that, and there's evidence, that some people would not contribute in the first place if they didn't have that, uh, that safety valve that they could access the money if they needed to. What happened to retirement account balances in the period leading up to and since the Great Recession? So in this study, we're focused on the, the six years between 2004 and 2010. And what we see is that after a period where balances had been growing significantly and, and, and coverage was expanding, that uh, during this period for households less than age 55, balances are down, coverage rates are down. Uh, and so we're concerned that uh, you know, with, these, with this decline in balances, uh, that uh, the retirement preparedness has, has taken a, a significant blow. What's the role of early withdrawals in explaining those trends? Obviously, the balances at any point in time are going to be the sum of contributions that have occurred, the returns on investments, uh, and, and withdrawals from accounts. So all three of those took, uh, took shocks over the past, the past few years. Uh, contributions are down and return on investments are low. But, uh, but we find that, that withdrawals actually do have some role to play after 2007, the increase in withdrawals. Uh, are substantial. So one, one way to, to think about it, in 2004, for every dollar that flowed into self-directed accounts, about 30 cents flowed out through uh, withdrawals, again, for this age group less than 55. By 2010, that number had risen to nearly 50 cents on the dollar for every dollar flowing in. And when you add the fact that fewer dollars are flowing in, this is a, this is a particularly substantial uh, withdrawal rate. So what are the main takeaways from your paper? What we see is we, we validated this, this idea we had going in, that the sorts of shocks that, that families experience are the types of things that lead to withdrawals. So for example, a drop in income uh, uh, will cause families to be more likely to access their accounts. Marital dissolution is one of the things that will, uh, will uh, lead people to take money out of their accounts. But when you, you step back and, and, and look at the data, you say that you see that even though uh, these things are correlated with withdrawals, uh, withdrawals are substantial for families who didn't experience, evidently experience, any, any sorts of shocks. And so withdrawals are always, uh, they're always there, uh, very high withdrawal rates. As I said, in 2004, it was 30 cents on the dollar uh, of money flowing in versus flowing out. Uh, it just went up during the recession, but one of my main takeaways is that this is an issue we should be concerned about at all points in time. Thank you, John. You're welcome.